we have a simulation of moisture distribution in a standing grow bag, a model we typically use for blueberries. The grow bag you see has been cut, and from this internal cross section, we can clearly see the moisture distribution that occurs from our drippers, the irrigation volumes and times we set for it, as well as the drainage holes at the bottom of the grow bag. Uh, we will observe the moisture distribution. Now, these two semicircles you see at the top are the cross sections where the drippers introduce water into the grow bag. They've been cut through the middle. Two drippers are used in this grow bag. In this way, we can optimize to find the best size for the drainage holes and the number of these holes. The volume of the grow bag also plays a very significant role in moisture distribution, both its diameter and height, as well as the particle size within the grow bag, which is the particle size of the cultivation medium, play a very, very significant role in the moisture distribution within the medium. In the simulation we've conducted, our different boundaries in this grow bag have varying conditions. For instance, we have evaporation on the top surface of the grow bag. At the cross-sectional area of our drippers, we have the water inlet. Now, with a specific flux that we've set for it, and in the bottom holes, we have the outlet through drainage. This is our initial moisture distribution. As you can see, the redder the color, the higher the moisture, and the bluer the color, the lower the moisture. Okay, let's look at the moisture distribution resulting from the irrigation inputs. Here, about two hours after sunrise, we had the first shot, and you can see the moisture that entered and its distribution. After that, we applied another shot. At this stage, the goal is to distribute the moisture in our cultivation medium as uniformly as possible, and that is our objective with the first three irrigation shots. So we see the moisture is around 37-39%, to 39%, and we move on to the first noon shot. And here we have the first noon shot, which is larger than the morning shots. And about two hours after that, we meticulously simulated the very next shot to precisely see what would happen. And here is the subsequent next shot event, which is an even significantly larger shot than the one that occurred at noon. The resulting moisture is also fully distributed in the cultivation medium. And finally, we have our last daily shot here. This is the essential moisture, the vital hydration that will be readily available to the plant and its surrounding cultivation medium, providing sustained nourishment throughout the entire duration of the night and continuing until the first light of dawn. Subsequently, this natural and continuous cycle of moisture availability will reliably repeat itself, ensuring ongoing support for the plant's growth and well-being.